Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. And remember, if you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A section of the course. It's really very important that you master text and you feel very confident and very comfortable working with text. And if you have any questions, please remember to post them in the Q&A section of the course. Cool. So let's start with text now. Of course, we need to create a new composition. You can come to the small button over here if you're not in 2018 or click a new comp. We are going to take a standard composition that we'll work uh, through in the course. Of course, feel free to change to high resolution if you like to, but I will work on 720, 25, which is pretty good for the course. Fine, so let's change the composition name and write text trials. And then I will leave it 25 frames. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to animate here. And the time is five seconds. Now the background color here, I will change it to something that is nice for you. Okay, you can see it nicely. Click OK. And then I click OK to create the composition. Cool, guys. When you're working with text, the character panel and the paragraph panel are very important. And sometimes also the align panel. Now, for the purpose of this lecture, I will click on the character panel and take it outside so it's visible all the time. We learned that in the previous section. I will do the same for the paragraph panel. Let's take it out just over here, bottom. Okay. Then I will come over to the character panel and stretch it down so we see everything. Okay. Here you are. Notice what's happening in the character panel. Before you start putting any text, notice the font is Arial, it's narrow, the text size is so big, there is so many settings here. Well, this is not convenient to start writing new text, mainly in a new project. What I recommend is you always reset your character panel. Okay, please do that because there are some settings here that are very confusing. So when you reset your character panel, it falls to Times New Roman and regular, and the font size is very small. You can immediately start changing this. If you click on the arrow next to the font name, you will have a list of all the fonts you have in your system. You can also add some from the type kit. Later on, we'll see that. So I'm gonna choose here Arial. Notice that I have a star on Arial, meaning this is my favorite font. And there is the Arial and a sample of it. If you turn down this arrow, just here between the star and the Arial, you get all the font styles for this font. Let's choose, for example, I don't know, regular. Here you are. Now, the font size is very small. The best way to change it is just to click inside so you can edit the number and type, for example, 100 in our case. Cool. In the paragraph panel here, we can reset it if you like. Okay, but I will leave it to center text. It's easier to work with center text. When I will start adding text, it's going to use these settings and these paragraph settings. To add text, you come to your text tool over here. If you long click, you will have horizontal type tool and vertical type tool. For now, let's stick to horizontal type tool. So you can come over to your composition viewer here and click and start typing. This is one way to do it. Notice the mouse pointer. It is in text add now. But the nicest way to add text is just to double click on the horizontal type tool. Here you are. So it starts allowing you to add text just in the middle of the composition, 100% centered. And then you start typing the text. Let's type motion graphics. Okay, so I type motion graphics here and notice my mouse pointer. This mouse pointer means that you are in the edit mode for the text layer. If you take it outside, you will notice now it's in the move edit mode. It means I will be able to move the layer, but still in the edit mode. If you click out, you can start moving the layer. Okay. And then if you release, you're still in the edit mode. Now, obviously I made a mistake here, like a grab, blah, 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 I don't know. So let's correct this mistake. What you do is just use the arrow keys if you want, left and right. Or simply what I like doing is clicking and selecting some characters over here. Okay. And typing again the right word. That would be graphics. Cool. I will click outside and position it. Now you can, of course, continue editing by positioning the edit pointer anywhere you want. Here you are. And typing more if you like. Or deleting them with the backspace. So now when you finish editing and you're happy from what you wrote, you want to exit the edit mode of this layer. You have a couple of options. If you press Control Enter, which I will do, you will exit the edit mode 
of this text layer but stay in the text tool so you can click anywhere now here you are and start adding more text now if you're happy from your text let me do a correction here if this is all the text that you want to add you don't want the text tool anymore to exit the editing mode you just go for your selection tool you can't press v because of course it will write v so you go for your selection tool now you have exited the edit mode and also exited the text tool so you can click now and adjust your layers wherever you want them let's say now after exiting you want to edit your text my favorite way is to come to the layer you notice i have the bounding box appearing and i double click it will highlight and select all the text within the layer cool then i can highlight whatever i want okay or even put it in the middle and type more text highlight another text for example and delete it to exit now i have the choice i can press Control enter or i will go for the selection tool so to edit a text layer you just double click on it and then you can click anywhere and start editing or using the cursors left and right and if you like home and end and you can edit your text so it's pretty easy pretty simple so now you have learned how to add the text and how to edit the text and how to move the text layer so notice what happened in the timeline a text layer has been created you notice the t for text layer and it's actually showing you what you have written and this is the motion graphic text if you scroll down a bit you will notice that you have text this is the content itself and you have the transform this is transformation for animating the text layer itself within the text you will have several options here that we will see later on in the course thanks very much for listening i will see you in the next lecture 